Mr. Kamath, you're well known for having created not one but many CEOs. Do you see yourself as an exceptional mentor or do you feel this is something that every CEO should do? Um, to answer, the answer to your question is uh, I don't think there's anything extraordinary about it at all. I think this is something that every, not only CEO, every leader in an organization has to do because the whole uh, I think the, the act or the art of uh, getting uh, subordinates up the curve starts very early in your career. So even when you are uh, just an officer in an organization, if there is somebody working with you, uh, you, know, you can start the process of uh, mentoring and guiding uh, the person. And as you get into other managerial positions, you uh, actually hone your skills. And of course, you have a greater ability to do it uh, with a very tight slate uh, once you become the CEO. How do you take a young executive and make him a CEO? It doesn't uh, happen like that. I think uh, spotting is early. You need to spot people uh, very early. That's my belief. And uh, thereafter, track them. Uh, in a sense, once you have spotted them, by track them, I mean uh, put them on uh, courses which uh, you know test them uh, in the job content, uh, course in the job content, uh, and rotate them around the organization so that uh, you find that uh, uh, you, you make sure that uh, they are strong and uh, can work in any uh, context and uh, truly be leaders uh, tomorrow. And if there are weaknesses at that point in time, particularly skill set weaknesses, you try to see uh, how you can address them as you go along. You are known for having promoted and for having mentored both men and women managers. Is there any difference in mentoring women managers from men managers? Absolutely no difference. Absolutely no difference. I think uh, uh, you, know, you need to be conscious that uh, basically you are uh, looking at professional talent and uh, you know, basically uh, you know, getting them to uh, work on greater and greater responsibility as they grow up the organization. Uh, you do that and uh, keep the idea of gender out of the equation, uh, I think you, you succeed very well. You've joined Infosys at a time, at a particularly difficult phase, where the markets for the first time are questioning the company's ability to grow. Has your leadership mentoring role in Infosys been different from your experience in ICICI? I think uh, leadership mentoring ought not to be different wherever you go. But a chair uh, really doesn't uh, mentor. The chair is there uh, providing a shoulder rather than a mentorship exercise. And of course, uh, looking after governance uh, aspects. So uh, I think that's a role that I would uh, look at. As far as Infosys goes, I think they had a great mentor in uh, Mr. Narayan Murthy. In a way, I would say that if I were to pick a third mentor for me, I would say Murthy was uh, that mentor. So uh, I would think that uh, he has done a great job in uh, getting the right leaders in.